During the Second Sino-Japanese War, the Chinese army used the Model 1936 rank system and insignias, which itself could be regarded as an improved version of the Model 1929. The rank structure and insignias were introduced in 1936 and would remain in use until 1946. In total, there were 18 different ranks divided into five levels or categories, two for enlisted and three for officers. This video will serve as a guide to the different ranks used by the Chinese army during the war, including what they're called in Chinese and English, as well as their corresponding collar insignias and chest patches. On Chinese uniforms, the ranks were displayed on a pair of rectangular tabs worn on the collars, as well as on a cloth patch worn above the left chest pocket. Some officers also wore their ranks on their overcoats as well. While the collar tabs stayed the same for the most part, chest patches saw some major changes as the war progressed, with unique designs being introduced for many units in the later years. In this video, we will only be taking a look at the more standardized variant, which was initially introduced in the 1936 uniform regulations. In order to better understand the collar tabs and chest patches, it is important to first talk about the different branches of the Chinese army and their corresponding branch colors. Initially, the new regulations listed 12 different branches, each with their own unique color. The branch color was depicted both on the collar tabs as well as on the chest patch. The most common branch color, red, was used by the infantry, known in Chinese as bu bing. Yellow represented cavalry, known as qi bing in Chinese. Blue represented artillery, or pao bing. White represented engineers, or gong bing. Gray represented communications, or tong xin bing. Black represented transport, or zi zhong bing. Pink represented military police, or xian bing. The medical, jun yi, as well as the pharmaceutical, or si yao branches used dark green. Light green represented veterinarians, or shou yi. Purple represented quartermasters, or jun xu. Brown represented survey troops, or ce liang. And finally, Orange represented musical, or jun yue. A thirteenth branch color was added later on, around 1937. Silver, or chrome, was used by the armored branch of the army. As this was a later addition and not initially included in the 1936 regulations, it has caused quite a bit of confusion, which has been made worse by potential interpretation and translation errors. Some mistakenly believe that the mechanized or armored troops used black, the branch color used by the transport branch. The gray branch color used by the communications branch have also been confused for the armored branch as well. In reality, the armored branch used a chrome color, which was relatively easy to distinguish from others, even in period black and white footage. As mentioned earlier, a soldier's rank was depicted on both their collar tabs as well as their chest patches. The collar tabs were rectangular in shape and displayed the wearer's rank through both horizontal stripes as well as gold triangular pips. The colors of the badges themselves corresponded to the branch color of the wearer. The tabs measured 5 cm by 2.2 cm and were usually secured onto the collar through a pin on the back. When wearing an overcoat or cape, officers could display their ranks through triangular pips attached to the coat collars instead of using rectangular badges. For the most part, collar tabs weren't used during combat and were only worn away from the front lines. It should also be noted that not all soldiers would receive collar tabs, especially those from the enlisted ranks. Ranks were also depicted on the chest patches worn by the soldiers. They measured 9 cm by 5 cm and usually had two vertical columns on either side, along with four rows in the middle. The patches were worn above the left chest pocket, often sewn onto the uniform or secured using safety pins. The color of the border denoted the rank level or category, while the number of triangles in the leftmost column, which corresponded to the number of triangular pips on the collar tabs, denoted their specific rank. Colored stripes corresponding to the wearer's branch color ran either through or to the right of the rank column. These chest patches also served as the wearer's identification, similar to a dog tag. On the rightmost column was the soldier's name, while the first and second rows usually contained information about the soldier's unit. The third row is used for the soldier's position or function, while the last row shows the patch's year of issue. Like collar tabs, chest patches were sometimes removed during combat as well. The lowest rank category belonged to enlisted soldiers, known in Chinese as bing or bing zu. This category is reflected on their chest patch with a thin black border or sometimes with one that lacked a colored border. On the patch, their specific ranks were displayed with triangles in the leftmost column, which corresponded to the number of pips on their collar tabs. 
a single colored stripe corresponding to the branch color ran down the middle of the column. The color tabs consisted of triangular pips on a plain background in a color that corresponded to their branch color. For this video, unless otherwise stated, the examples shown on the right will all be of infantry ranks, using red as the branch color. The lowest rank in this category, also the lowest rank in the army, is that of a private second class, or er bing in Chinese. This is displayed on the color tab with one triangular pip. Moving up a rank is a private first class, known in Chinese as a yi dong bing. A private first class has two pips on their color tabs. The third and highest rank in the enlisted soldier category is that of a superior private, or shang dong bing. Superior privates were collar tabs with three triangular pips. As soldiers of this rank typically had a certain amount of experience, they can occasionally be found filling the assistant squad commander role. The next rank category are non-commissioned officers, or jun shi in Chinese. An NCO's chest patch is nearly identical to that of an enlisted soldier's, with the only difference being that instead of a single colored stripe running through the rank column on the left, NCO patches had two stripes. NCO collar tabs are set apart from those of an enlisted soldier's by a single blue stripe running across the middle, with the background color being that of the wearer's branch color. The lowest NCO rank is a corporal, or xia shi in Chinese. On the collar tabs, this is denoted by a single triangular pip in front of a blue stripe. In a squad, corporals often fill the role of an assistant squad commander. This rank is also the lowest rank for men from branches such as the quartermasters, veterinarians, and survey troops, with the rank on the right being a corporal of the veterinarian branch, or shou yi ke xia shi. The next rank is the rank of sergeant, or zhong shi. Sergeants wore collar tabs with a blue stripe and two pips, and often commanded a squad or a section. The staff sergeant, or shang shi, is the most senior NCO rank, with three triangular pips and a blue stripe on their collar tabs. Being the most senior and often the most experienced of the enlisted personnel, staff sergeants were often given roles similar to that of a first sergeant in the U.S. Army and can sometimes be found at the company level, attached to the company HQ. It should be noted that the color tabs of NCOs belonging to branches such as the artillery branch were slightly different. As they already wore color tabs that were blue in color, the blue stripes would not have been very visible. For this reason, NCOs from these branches have been observed wearing color tabs with a white stripe instead. Before moving on to the officer ranks, it is important to mention that there were two different versions of enlisted collar tabs. The initial variant, which was covered here, can be easily distinguished from officer collar tabs as they lacked a gold border. Around 1943, gold borders started to be added for the enlisted collar tabs as well. Although introduced during the war, this new style became much more prevalent in the post-war years, leading to a misconception that this was a post-war pattern. However, historical photos and footage shows them in use years before the end of the war. The lowest officer rank category is the company grade, or junior officer. In Chinese, this category is known as the 初等军官, or 初等官座. Another Chinese term would be 卫官. It should be noted that certain branches used an alternate naming system for their officer ranks, referring to them as zuo instead of wei. These branches usually performed support roles in the army and included the band, quartermaster, survey, veterinarian, and medical branches. Company grade officers wore collar tabs with a gold border with a single gold stripe running through the middle. Early collar tab variants often had diagonal line patterning running through the border, similar to the patterns found on bullion thread, while some later variants would omit this pattern. Although not as common, other different patterns have been observed as well. Like with the enlisted ranks, the background color was that of the wearer's branch color. Chest patches for company grade officers all had a blue border regardless of their branch. Ranks were displayed in the leftmost column in the form of triangles, which corresponded to the number of pips on the collar tabs. The branch color is depicted in the form of a colored stripe to the right of the rank column. Note that this differs from those worn by enlisted ranks where the branch stripe is in the middle of the column. The first rank to be covered is that of a warrant officer, although this rank can also be viewed as being independent of the junior officer category. Known in Chinese as a jun wei, and for certain branches, a jun zuo. The collar tabs consisted of a gold border and a gold stripe. There are no triangular pips on the collar tabs. In addition to commanding platoon-sized units, warrant officers often shared a similar role with the first sergeant in the U.S. Army and is often found at the company level. 
Company-grade officer ranks typically start with that of a second lieutenant, known in Chinese as a shao wei. Men of this rank wore collar tabs with one triangular pip and a single gold stripe. For the branches that used a different naming system, the second lieutenant is known as a san deng zuo in Chinese. The example shown on the right is a second lieutenant of the survey branch, known as a san deng ce liang zuo, which roughly translates to third class survey junior officer. The first lieutenant is known as a zhong wei or er deng zuo. They wore color tabs with two pips and a stripe. Both the first and second lieutenants are often found commanding platoon-sized units. The highest company-grade officer rank in the Chinese army is a captain, known in Chinese as a shang wei, with their color tabs consisting of three triangular pips and a stripe. Captains are often found in the company commander position. For the branches using the alternate naming system, a captain is known as a yi deng zuo, with the example on the right being a captain of the medical branch, or yi deng jun yi zuo. The next officer rank category is the field grade or senior officer category. In Chinese, this category is known as the zhong deng guan zuo or xiao guan. Like with the junior officers, a different naming system was used by the branches mentioned earlier, using the term zheng instead of xiao. Collar tabs consisted of a gold border and two gold stripes against a background corresponding to the wearer's branch color. A yellow border on the chest patch denoted the wearer's senior officer category. Like with junior officers, ranks are displayed in the leftmost column with the number of triangles corresponding to the number of pips on the collar tabs. Also like the junior officer patches, the branch color stripe is located to the right of the rank column. The lowest senior officer rank is a major or shao xiao in Chinese. The collar tabs consist of one pip in front of two gold stripes. In the field, majors are often found commanding battalion-sized units. For the branches using the alternate naming system, majors are known as san deng zheng, with the example seen on the right being a major in the band, also known as a san deng jun yue zheng. This is also the highest rank obtainable by men in the band or musical branch of the army. The next senior officer rank is a lieutenant colonel or zhong xiao in Chinese. Wearing a collar tab with two pips and two stripes, Lieutenant colonels are often found in the Regiment XO or Deputy Regiment Commander position. For branches using the alternate naming system, lieutenant colonels are known as Er Deng Zheng, with the example on the right being a lieutenant colonel of the Survey Branch or Er Deng Ce Liang Zheng. The highest field grade officer rank in the Chinese army is a colonel or Shang Xiao. Colonels wore collar tabs with three pips and two stripes and are often found in command of regiment sized units. For branches using the alternate naming system, a colonel is known as a yi deng zheng, with the example on the right being a colonel of the quartermaster branch, or yi deng jun xu zheng. The highest rank category in the Chinese army are the general officers, known as shang deng guan zuo, or jiang guan in Chinese. Chest patches of general officers have a red border to denote their rank category. The rank column was located to the left, with the number of triangles corresponding to the number of pips on the collar tabs. However, there are some key differences between the chest patches worn by general officers and those worn by company and field grade officers. Firstly, depending on the general officer's unit and role, their patch may contain only three rows of information instead of the usual four. As generals typically commanded larger sized units, oftentimes only a single row is needed to record its unit information. Another key difference is that the patches worn by general officers lacked the colored stripe denoting the wearer's branch. Like the chest patches, the collar tabs didn't distinguish the branch either, being gold in color instead of using one of the branch colors. The wearer's specific rank was still denoted by the number of triangular pips on the collar tabs. Like some European nations at the time, the Chinese army did not have a brigadier general rank. Instead, the lowest general rank was a shao jiang, which is roughly equivalent to the rank of a major general. Major generals often commanded a brigade or division-sized unit and wore a gold collar tab with one triangular pip. Major generals in some of these support branches may also be known as a jian. The next general officer rank is a lieutenant general or zhong jiang. Lieutenant generals wore gold collar tabs with two pips and were often in command of a division or army-sized unit. Lieutenant generals in these support branches are also known as a zong jian. Next is the rank of general, or shang jiang, 
which is displayed on the color tab with three triangular pips. However, this is actually three separate ranks that uses the same insignia, the 二级上将, which roughly translates to general second class, 一级上将, or general first class, and 特级上将, or general special class, also known as a generalissimo. Those holding the rank of a general second class often commanded army group-sized units in addition to holding other important positions in the Chinese army. One example of someone with this rank would be General Xu Yongchang, who represented China during Japan's surrender ceremony aboard the USS Missouri. At the time of the ceremony, his rank was that of a general second class. The general first class was the highest obtainable rank of the Chinese army, often commanding entire military regions, or war zones, in addition to holding other very important positions in the Chinese army. One example of a general first class is He Yingqin, who served as the chief of staff of the Chinese army during the war. The general special class commanded all of China's armed forces. From its inception until its abolishment in the year 2000, Chiang Kai-shek was the only person to ever hold this rank. In most historical photos and footage, Chang wore collar tabs that had a distinct gold border. Some believe that this was unique to the Generalissimo rank insignia. However, this feature was likely something added by that particular manufacturer and was not reserved solely for the insignias used by the Generalissimo, as other lower-ranking officers have been observed wearing collar tabs with similar borders during the war. And with that, we arrive at the end of the video. I want to give a big shout out to Star Wars Studio 100 both for suggesting the video as well as creating the digital images of the rank insignias and chest patches. I have included a link to his channel in the description below and I encourage everyone to check it out. So what do you think of the Chinese army ranks of World War II? Did anything stand out to you? How are they different from the ranks used by the Western militaries? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section down below and until next time, thank you for watching.